Welcome back everybody to the next episode of Dragon Quest 7 Fragments of the Forgotten Pass. In the last episode we made it up to this really cool tower place. In the sky. We also got the magic vestments that are needed for the dancer. Um, bring the Almighty back and there's a pulse coming from the middle. Curious about that. Okay. Well, let's go to the only other building. And I'm gonna cough. Because you know, what else would it be starting to talk and not need to cough? Beyond lies the altar of departure. Go forth to mark, to mark to the mark of the Almighty. Okay. Thanks, Doug. My, my, my. My, my, my. Pedestal for fragments. Um. Is it this one? Yes, it is. Oh, there's already a fragment on there. Interesting. Very interesting. Where are we going to go with this very special tablet pedestal? Ugh. Okay. Um. Any treasures? Nothing. Okay. Have a quick peek about, anyways. Machines with axes. That's fine. That's kind of fine. Uh, ooh, a cure slime, really? These are old. Wait, we're here, but in the past. Wait, wait a minute. They're gonna be super weak, aren't they? Yep. Okay. So, like when we were here in the past, we were just on the other side of that bridge. Oh. That is neat. That is neat. So, let's see what's going down at the Pool of Piety past incarnation. Nothing here, so no need to go looking about. Except for visual aids, but they're probably the same, to be honest. We are the descendants of the Order who fought alongside the Almighty for many years. The shrine flowed among the clouds, granting us safe haven for, from above the troubled lands below. Alas, it's time the powers of the sacred stone and the held of love faded, and a home fell from the sky. By the grace of our Lord and Master, we survive. Yeah, it's alive building up. But we know not what, to, what fate befell the shrine that fell long before we did. Well met, it's an honor indeed to make your acquaintance. Now, prithee, tell me, do you know the Almighty, how the, how the Almighty fared against the Battle of the Demon King? Yeah. Yeah, pot. So it is as I feared. Our Lord and Master met with defeat. Judging by the sorry state of the world, I suppose there's a scant surprise. Verily, I hope. All hope is lost. I fear this is the end. But it's not. Um... Hey, Grandpa. Huh? By the Almighty, can, can, can that be? Can that be a sacred stone that you carry? But, but this can only mean, praise be, the Almighty has returned to guide us once again. Good sir, the, the years have taken their toll, but I recognize you still. You were once the captain of the Holy Order of the Almighty, were you not? But how? How could you know this? Wait, could you be... Could it really be you, Sir Mervyn? But, but the years have hardly withered you at all. Could the Almighty in his wisdom perhaps have taken the precaution of sealing you away somewhere? Of keeping you safe from harm until his return? You summarized correctly, good sir, and my having's been revived suggests that this the hive of his restoration is close at hand. Sorry. And our Lord and Master foresaw all and ensured by means of his miraculous power that the hope would not be lost. Though to see you here bearing a sacred stone seems almost beyond the realms of miracle, I must have faith. Yes, the Almighty can and shall be revived. You must go to the sacred lotus flower in the pool to see for, before you. You see before you. It will take you to the caverns below. Pass through them to discover an altar which bears the mark of the Almighty. Offer up the sacred stone you bear to the heavens and the powers of two fallen shrines shall be restored. They shall rise again. 
And when all four shrines are aloft again at the last, a great new power shall be granted to you. And this I'm certain. Sounds good. Thanks. Actually, let's talk to the old lady too. Ah, to think it pains me still. Not long after the shrine crashed to the earth beneath, our son, he, poor beloved son, passed. Ooh. He was convinced that there must be another sacred stone somewhere in the world, and that find it would allow us to take unto the skies once more. But soon after he set out his quest, he was ambushed by monsters and died in battle. Whoo! That's sad. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's do this. Mm. Stay hydrated, ladies and gentlemen. Muy delicioso. I love water. Alright, how many things? Nothing. Good to know. But... I'm curious if they're like friendly monsters again. To talk to. And be like, yo dog. Do you need to be transpographied into something else? So as to be less heinous. Or hideous! Um, nothing, okay. Ooh, look at those light rays coming down. What? Go away. What's that? Oh, it's a muddy hand. Yeah, those light rays are pretty. Oh my gosh, we haven't seen one of those bee mouse things in ages. A nutter up here's in a muddy hand. Bada boom. Shush! Not really worth the time, but you know, it's what it is. It's what it is. Interesting in a bad way. Very interesting in a bad way. Um, oh well. It's fine. But these are the same level of things we just recently fought, so we will scorch their faces. And feel good about it, too. Yes. Yes! Oh, those ugly things. Um, the right one was the false one. We want to go there, I believe, is how it works. Because it should just be that kind of altar again, right? Right? Alrighty then. Uh, but let me think about it. When we saw that old mariner dude. Okay, so the thing's not here anymore. That's fine. Uh, that old king whatever. And I'm thinking from last episode, um, the mermaid dude that wants to be transformed. Um, that was in the past of Birmingham. And we are in the past now. But it's just assuming the old guy's still alive now. <sighs> Ooh, sorry about that. I don't, I don't know where that yawn came from. I mean, it came from my mouth, but you know what I mean. There's nothing here. Ah, you're up there. You're dumb. That would have been the perfect time to, you know, run into an encounter. Because, you know, you insult something and then it's supposed to turn around and smack you in the face. Basically happens in Dark Souls. Oh, this bass is easy. It suddenly gets wrecked. Shit. And then it typically ruins, like, the next five iterations, or encounters as well. Not always, but you know. You know. Ah, darn. Quay horses. Or key. Oh, key horses. Right, it's not quay, it's key. Not bad. Okay, seahorse, key horse. It, it's... There's probably something more that I'm missing because I'm not familiar with, um... Horse or seahorse. What the fuck? And the princess's nurse maid and I divided in the ocean. And I dived into the ocean with him in order to protect them from the harm. Suddenly there are monsters here too. I will never rest easily till the creatures remain. Please, someone give us a world without monsters, a world of peace. Oh, interesting. The monsters are coming. Help me, so please. Um. Damn. Okay. Didn't, didn't expect to see ghosts. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Didn't expect that at all. It's much like the Spanish Inquisition. 
Yeah, let's go. Oh, hey, you're a, a full structure here. Ooh, let's go outside here real quick and see if anything has changed. I mean, monsters. There's a treasure here now. Nice! Glad I checked. Be something good. That's pretty good. I mean, it's a resurrection. So... I'm just so reliant on spell work that... I don't know. I should start putting things in my inventory. To be honest, just, you know, just in case kind of things. Um... Use the sacred stone again. There it is. Perfect. Light it by the light. Not how the melody goes. Okay, so we do this in the past and we res up. You know what? Dragon Quest likes time travel, I guess, because I just saw the Dragon Quest movie, which is based off of five, I believe, and there's time travel in that too. Kind of. No, there is. Are you gonna float too? Yep. Up you pop. Um. How do I get there now? I tell. Yeah, I tell. Well, I teleported through the from the outside through the um. Uh. Lotus, which took me downward, and that was in the pond, not the other thing. So, really, to the last. Oh, so that's how it works. To the last overworld you've been into. Son of a bitch. So that's how evac works. Oh, well. It's not a long trek, anyways. Oh, well. Oh, really? Sorry, muting for coughing. You you guys know the jig. You know the deal so at this point. You know the deal. Um, but yeah, ghost people. I would like to come back and see them when we get the darkness to to move away from this part of the world. Because assuming that's what we're going to get to do, because that's what we've kind of done every time. Um, I don't know why I didn't scorch there, to be honest. Sure it'll be fine, though. Yeah, it's fine. Other people actually got to do something for once in their lives. The lazy sacks of dung beetle sticks. Dung beetle sticks. That, that doesn't make sense. Oh, well. No one said it had to make sense. Just asked to make dollars. Boom. Some strangler fish. All right, back to... Back to basics with... Basics with Babish. Y'all watch Benjamin with Babish? That guy is fantastic. He's funny, he's intelligent, he uh, cooks really well, which is a great thing for, you know, someone who's cooking. Oh, okay, cool. So we're basically going to be there. I was like, what's that? It's one of those monkeys. It's weird seeing them without their tree, considering they, you know, have their tree in, in the combat, so... And mm -hmm. But so they can't just walk around with their tree. Well, apparently they do. So, yeah. And we've already got walking pillars. So I'm like, I'm not that fussed with um, realism being broken a little bit. I mean, come on. We got seahorsemen here with tridents and small shields. Wow. Oh. Realism got thrown out the window about five days ago, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to get a donation on, um, stream. Because I've changed the voice to text to, um, British English. Uh... So... Just back to the present, I guess, and be like, hey, 
I did a thing. Here you go. Then this guy, they're gonna be like, I mean, for them, it's gonna be normal. And they're not gonna know that we did it. We never get the credit. What about, whatever happened to credit where credit's due? I feel like this game is the, like, I want to say antithesis. I think that's the right word. Of, you know, whatever I just said. <laughs> oh, yes! Look at that! We've got two... Well, how the fuck do I leave? Oh, right there. Like, where's the door? Um, but yeah, we got stuff. Welcome to the most hallowed home of the Holy Order of the Almighty. Thanks. <laughs> but yeah, we got two more buildings now. Anything in the middle? There is something in the middle. Oh, God. That's a... An angle. From where I'm standing, everyone on the ground below seems happy. Peace has returned and all is right with the world. What more could anyone ask for? Um... The not return of the Demon King would be fantastic. Weapon shop. Ooh, I hit the mic. Uh, Zombies Bane, Dragon Claws, Thunderbolt Blade. Ah. Uh. No, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. Uh, flowing dress, flower, flame armor, prince's robes. Garment will help reduce damage caused by magic. Doesn't she have a thing? Tempest shield, power. Ooh, power shields are good. Oh, we're just gonna hold off for now, though. I think we're okay for the time being. Go check out this middle thing. That's weird looking. Just to be honest. Kind of weird looking. Like a mini garden. Oh. A less mini garden. Though the blood of the Holy Order of the Almighty flows through the veins of my generation, the power and fighting prowess of the Holy Knights have not been passed to us. Perhaps this means that an era of peace is about to dawn. I can only pray that I am right. My dream is to one day be, uh, descend to the surface and take my place in the world that truly is truly at peace. Something like that. Well, working on it. Working on it. Oh, a nun in black. Here come the nun in black. Almighty defender. Something like that. <laughs> At first, there was but the faintest glow. But in time, the powers of the sacred stones commingled and took form, and the miraculous creation that now floats between them has brought forth from nothingness. Do not be fooled by appearances. To think it merely a lump of cold, dead rock would be a grave error. No, it is formed from the stuff of life itself. The sacred stones are imbued with the hopes and dreams, the heartfelt prayers of all the people of this world. It is these that have given birth to this wonder. Now, feel its power. Hear its call within your heart. Let the Sky Stone come to you. The Sky Stone. Oh, he's doing stuff. Um. Uh. Uh. Should, should it be doing that? Seems weird. Did you feel it? Did you hear it in your heart? It is thanks to your efforts on behalf of this world and all those who live in that great wonder exists. It is yours to use as you see fit. Let it... What? Wait, did she just like give that to me? Is that what she meant? Seriously? Thank you. That's really cool. Uh. Hey. How you doing? Um. Wait, where are you going? Oh, you're abducting me. 
Sol and Co. are now free to make use of the Sky Stone. Uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is this? This is so weird. Surely I want to go there. Um... <laughs> This is so cool. Um, this is home. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. It's like a magic carpet, but better. Oh, is this where the ship is frozen? Why can't I land? Okay, I can. Just the shadow has to be able to be on all of it. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. This is where the ship is, right? Al Shalal. Should've gone up, guys. Should've gone up. So we've seen the ship before, I want to say. Yeah. There it is. Looks blooming familiar. Because, you know, with those cutscenes, where we saw a bunch of it. So I can't call the thing to me, it looks like. I just have to go to it, but maybe it'll be like the boat and kind of position itself in areas in which I am. Oh, I already got that. Cool. Cool. Oh, I just stopped the music. Oh, hey, the thing. What's it called again? The great something? Where are you? There you are. There you are. Kind of reminding myself of what exists. Alright, um... Okay. Uh-huh. Remember that spot real well? That was good. That was good. Alrighty. Now, first and foremost, any treasures? I'm this lazy. There's one treasure. Let's find it. Yeah! There it be! Plus, it lets me know if I have to keep looking around after I find one. Oh, joy. Yay. Prayer ring. Thanks so much. Ooh. All aboard! <laughs> Strange shrine near wetlock. Allow me to tell you something of how the world works. There's no such thing as chance. There are no coincidences. Do you understand? A path to the past has been open. This, as with everything else, is part of the great design. Your arrival hill too was preordained. It was always going to occur. I am the Gnostic, and I've always been here waiting for you. The Almighty charged me with the task of passing the last remnant of hope to the adventurers who would one day come. And here you are. Oh, I'm going to come. Yeah. Real hard, too. Yeah. Sorry. Accept that which is your destiny to receive. Mysterious fragment. But where's the pedestal? The altar wherein you must place this piece of stone lies deep beneath the earth in a cavern carved by human hands. When the tablet is completed at last, it will transport the bearer to the moment when the Almighty met his end. Wow. The moment long ago, far away. And you must visit nonetheless. It is your destiny. Your true journey begins now. Um. Assume. He means the Shrine of Mysteries. Does that mean I can get into that blocked area now? That's my thought. If that's not the case, then I'll be like, Huh? Huh? Um, let's see. <sighs> um, here, let's... Sacred stone? Nothing, okay. Whatever. Let's go talk to what's-his-face. <laughs> In the room, ask for guidance. Puffle gone at the castle. 
Good to know. Shut up. Okay, let's go back to a star then. Okay, so a thing made by humans. I thought it was this, and it still might be, but we might have to do the, something in a star first. Um, there are also some ruins. Oh, yeah, cool. So I was like, what the frick is that? Right there next to us. Um... Let's go visit the king. See what he's got to say for himself. Boy, is he in trouble. I'll whoop his butt. Not really. Ah, here you are, lass. I've been impatiently awaiting your return. So impatiently, in fact, that I have had men out searching for you. There's something I would like to take you to take care of, you see? But first, my side is that you not repeat a single word of what I'm about to tell you to any one of my subjects. Okay. I mean, your dude's right next to you. Now, you are aware of a certain dig site that is uh, to be found in the land of the northwest of here, I assume? Yes. What exactly is going on, I hear you ask? Well, it seems that an enormous and very ancient... Ah! Nice. But that was ve not very... But this is no happy discovery. The place was teeming with monsters, which have now escaped and begun terrors and all those in the vicinity. Of course, to find monsters is not itself unheard of. Our exploratory parties have encountered many of their expeditions. But this is the first time any of them have attacked humans entirely and provoked and without reason. I suspect you have already gathered what I wish you to ask what I wish to ask for. You need to go there and eliminate, eliminate the threat. But I must warn you, based on the reports we have received, I sense that something unspeakably awful waits deep inside these caverns. Caves. I ask that you prepare yourselves for the worst. And I know you are equal to the task. I have absolute faith in you. Thanks, King. Thanks. I appreciate your kind words, man. So yeah, so we need to go to um, the dig site area. That's cool. Sending us back to places. That's the thing. We've discovered most of the, or all of the main areas, I presume. So now it's all just expanding upon or finding hidden things but that's in the next episode so guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode you know i did hit the like button hit the subscribe and bell notification button hit yourself you know you gotta stay awake uh but yeah take care guys thank you so much for watching and bye bye for now Hey there everybody, thank you so much for watching this video and supporting this channel. If you wish to support me further, think about pledging to my Patreon or donating on Streamlabs during one of my weekly Saturday live streams, both of which have links in the description below. Join the Discord to stay up to date with all current and future projects, and make sure to like and subscribe as that's what I'm supposed to tell you as a YouTuber. But in all truthfulness, just thank you so much, and see you next time.